Nigeria's new inflation figure is the highest in 10 years and the fifth monthly increase in a row. Africa's biggest economy has seen revenues plunge as a result of a steep fall in oil prices, with pressure on the Naira helping to drive up inflation. The Naira now exchanges for around 290 to the dollar in the official interbank market. Nigeria's Bureau of Statistics says the rise in inflation reflects higher prices for electricity, transport and food. Now the new inflation data shows an increase in food prices from 14.9% in May to 15.3% in June. What that means is that uh, the prices of foodstuff have actually gone up. Take for instance, a bag of rice like this in the past used to sell for around $28, but now it sells for between $53 and $55. And you know what? It's in the area of foodstuff that Nigerians are really feeling the impact of this inflation. Traders like Mwachuku Bonaya says business has been really bad, with patronage going down drastically. Very tough, I must confess. Very, very tough. We face a lot of challenges in terms of doing business in the country these days. Before now, we used to have free, of, free flow of customers. Analysts say Nigeria's new inflation figure may leave a sour taste in the mouth, but that it is not in any way surprising. The point to the higher cost of production, a 40% increase in electricity tariff across the country, the severe petrol scarcity that hit the country in the first half of this year, the removal of petrol subsidies, and even the delay in the passage of the budget. All of these, they say, are the major drivers of the new inflation figure. Attention is now shifting to the country's central bank to see how it responds to the situation. In the past, its monetary policy committee had responded by tightening liquidity and raising interest rates. But some say that may not be necessary in this case. The impact of higher tariff and uh, petroleum price increases is going to taper off by next day. So monetary policy is mainly short term and they should not respond to the higher inflationary pressure we are seeing from supply side factors by trying to tighten liquidity again in the system. That's only going to affect cost of funding in the economy and probably accelerate the inflationary pressure we are seeing. But a much more appropriate step to take is to try to reduce the foreign exchange constraints we are seeing in the economy. If you could see an improved production of commodities, we could be talking about the fact that this inflationary trend will come down. If you can see an improved supply of electricity, improved you know, provision of basic uh, infrastructure to make sure that the business environment is encouraged, to make sure that the investors are encouraged, to make sure also that goods that are produced in Nigeria are able to move from one state to the other in terms of you know, uh, transportation, then we can be talking about having a, a, a downward trend. Experts are predicting that we might see a further rise in inflation up to about 20% before we begin to see a gradual reduction. Now, judging by the current state of the Nigerian economy, that seems a certainty. Digibat CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.